Hello, Today Crew. Welcome to Today Pass. I'm Scott, and in today's video, we're going to be showing you more of Southall. Yes, I am in the manual car again. If you've seen the previous three videos, where I've done a couple at Greenford in the manual car, showing you the heel starts and the clutch control and how I'm stalling everywhere and just making a mess of the road, then you will know I've been slating the manual car. This old dog has not forgot the tricks of the manual car. However, this old dog is old and rusty and my knees and my back hurts so I don't want to drive a manual car no more and we all know it's not relevant after 2030 blah 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 now let's get started so we're going to be doing a test route at Southall and I'm going to show you the willow tree roundabout which is uh, relentless when we get there you're going to see the traffic coming from the right this is one for for manual cars oh my god you're going to see the clutch control down here uh with the feet so it's really important that you um know how to do it what i call launch start okay let me show you it now okay so launch start right we've got hold technology on this car and that holds there just is basically a handbrake. So unless I touch the accelerator, that stays on or the brake, but I'm not going to use the brake because I'm going to move off. Right now, hold technology is this. Find your biting point. Make sure it's clear. So if you're at the roundabout, you would be at the biting point like this. And then gas, clutch up, and you're off. That is launch. Now, you need to do that at the Willow Tree roundabout sometimes because the traffic just doesn't stop coming from that right-hand side. So, without further ado, let's have a look at the driving test route and we're going to go have a look at Willow Tree roundabout. Okay, at the end of the road, turn right. Mirror, mirror, signal, position, speed, look. Right, left, right, minimum observations, clutch up, gas on, and I'm moving away in first gear. So every time we stop a manual car, we return back to first gear. And when we move off, we always move away in first gear. Less space, less speed, interior mirror, exterior mirror to the left, make sure it's clear. Interior mirror, exterior mirror to the right, make sure it's clear. So this is my change of direction. So this is my mirror checks for change of direction. There's three different categories on the UK driving test for mirror checks. One is change of direction. So just like now, I might move back into the left because there's an oncoming car. Make sure there's no motorbikes or bicycles or any other road users and move over to the left. The uh, move of or change of direction here, interior mirror, right mirror, slowing down because not a lot of room. Back into first gear, back up on the clutch, back on the gas, and then checking around. The other two criteria for mirror checks are slowing which is called change of speed okay so if we're going to break for like a green light that's been green for ages we approach the green light and eventually it changes red as we approach we're going to start to change our speed so we're going to slow the car check interior mirror see how close the traffic's following adjust the brakes accordingly that's the second mirror check for change of speed the last one the third one is uh signaling so i'm just doing it there mirror mirror signal Mirror, mirror, signal, Scott, and then signal. So mirrors are first, always first, guys, and they're the three criteria. So just to recap those, we've got the change of direction, change of speed, and before signaling. Okay, so now, very narrow road. I'm in first gear. I'm actually just going to keep first gear because I don't like that speed bump. It's too big. And I don't like this oncoming car. Look at the speed. Are they maintaining? No, the change of direction, and they're slowing down. I'm going to say thank you. You don't need to say thank you on your driving test. Best to keep your hands on the wheel. And the examiners, if they choose to say thank you, they will do it for you. So let the examiners do that for you. You maintain um, safe hand position and control of the vehicle. Right, at the end of the road, mirror, mirror, signal back on again. And we're going to do a peep and creep here. The visibility is not great. It might start to get better as I get closer. So you can see this left side is getting better. I'm just keeping the clutch down. I've got a downhill here, so every time I release the brake, the car moves forwards a little bit. So I'm just going to keep the clutch down and just use the brake. Right, left, right, left, right. The car's not moving anymore. Raising the clutch, making sure I'm in first gear, not third gear. Otherwise, I'm going to stall when I get to the middle of this road. Gas, accelerator. That car on the left was slowing down. I think they were giving me space. Off the gas, on the clutch, into second gear, up on the clutch. Not accelerating yet, so I went into second gear. Now that blue vehicle passed, now I'm going to accelerate. But not even that much. Is it a 20 mile an hour road? Most likely it is. Pedestrian crossing, 
nice and slow. Got to wait for her to finish the crossing, completely finish the crossing. Check again, no one there, and then go. So that crossing does not have an island in the middle. That is one complete crossing. There's another one coming up where we've had another person move across there. And now there's no more pedestrians, the traffic is moving. The vehicles on the right, the learner cars, are going as slow as I am right now. So that's nice to see I'm not the only one going that slow. Okay, so at the roundabout, what I'm going to do is turn left. We're going to go towards the White Heart roundabout, and then we're going to go towards the Willow Tree roundabout, and then we're going to come back to the White Heart roundabout. So I'm going to show you these huge roundabouts. Right, left, right, second gear, just cruising towards the uh, junction there. Slow enough speed, early vision, early decision then I know it's safe and I can continue that slow speed. So I didn't need to put the clutch down. I didn't need to put the brakes on further to stop. I could see it was clear. I let the car roll out, gently accelerate, turn left. Nice and simple. It's all about, the secret really is, it's all about the foundations, the beginning, the basics. So for every single junction you come towards, slow speed. If you're in a manual car, if you're in a manual car, Okay, Scott, you can do this. Be serious. If you're in a manual car, second gear is usually a good gear to approach most roundabouts or roads that are fairly wider. If you're going into a narrow road or into a, a junction that you can't see, you are more than likely need to stop and then you'll be using first gear for very slow speeds like walking speed or stopping you'll need first gear as well. Um, so the secret, the foundations, the basic is the speed. It's part of that mirror signal position speed look routine. Now the mirrors and signals, like we said earlier, must be in order. Mirrors first, signal second. 20 miles an hour, Scott. 20 miles an hour. Okay, into third gear, third gear, into fourth gear. But you said 20, Scott. You went over 20, right? It's telling me to downshift to third. I'm going to leave it in fourth and see if fourth holds the speed limit. Okay, so the, the secret, the foundations, the mirror signal position speed. Look, we talked about the mirrors being first, signal being after. That needs to be in order. But the position, the speed, and look, the last part of the routine, does not need to be in order. We can juggle this. We can start positioning before we even mirror and signal. We can start to slow down before we even mirror and signal. We can start to look even before we mirror and signal. So you can do all of that part of the routine early if you like, but remember, I told you the basics, the foundations, it's the speed part. That is the most important. All that other complicated stuff that I'm mentioning, forget it all. As long as you slow down before you reach the junction, this will flow naturally afterwards. So make sure when you're on your driving lessons or driving test to adjust your approaching speed early. Choose the correct gear early. Make sure you're covering the brakes early. This way you'll be able to gain all that time and be able to stop safely if necessary because you're traveling towards a junction at an appropriate speed. This will allow you to mirror, it, allow you to signal, allow you to position, allow you to look. Okay, what I'm going to do is go straight. You see that arrow says straight? So, oh, that arrow said straight. I'm going to go in that arrow for straight. Okay, what is straight? Now, actually, straight is rice slip. And this lane, I'm looking for a handbrake there. This lane says R slip. Now, this is the confusing part. Going, see that white line there on that side, div dividing me and that car? This is my lane. This is R slip. That is R slip. So he stayed in his lane, and I stayed in my lane. Yeah? So knowing that, seeing that lane marking, knowing there's two R slips, although there's only one road marking before the roundabout that says R slip, there's two on the roundabout. And your one, if you're using the right lane as you approach the roundabout to go third exit straight ahead to right slip, will be this lane, regardless of you having inside knowledge about that lane on the left, okay? So following this lane, I've passed the first exit, coming towards the second exit, which is Yedding, now I'm going to check my interior mirror, left mirror, signal left, and we're going to take the third exit turning right, which is marked for right slip. Okay, so now as we're approaching the third exit turning right, I'm just checking, finding my biting point, getting my gas set, gently raising my clutch, gently accelerating, off the gas, into second gear, signal still on to the left, 
Checking the left side. Now speed change to 40 miles an hour. Must get better at watching for those signs. And now into third gear. Off the gas, down on the clutch. Moving the gear lever up to third. Off the clutch, on the gas. Now I'm going to turn left. Interior mirror, exterior mirror left. Signal left, roughly five cards from junction. Block changing. Holding the gear. Holding the brake, sorry. Down into gear, second. Using no pedals as I turn around the corner but covering the brake. Providing I got the gear first, the speed right. I don't need anything for the junction. Just following the road, just following the junction, letting the car do all the work like this. Look, going to turn left, no pedals. Still in second since I've exited the main road, still no pedals. 10 miles an hour, it's just crew, it's just perfect. It's, there's no need to be hard on the gas, hard on the brake. Get used to the car, allow it to roll. Get used to no effort, right? It's effort, right? Don't do it. No one wants to do effort these days. F it off. <laughs> right, I'm going to stop here. Interior mirror, left mirror, and I didn't signal. Did I need to signal? No one was around that would benefit. So on this occasion, I'm okay. No need to signal. Right, I'm going to do the maneuver here. I'm going to do the pullover and stop on the right, and I'm going to do a quick emergency stop. So I'm going to show you how to do the pullover and stop on the right maneuver, following it with an emergency stop. Right, so my exam has been kind enough to ask me to pull over to the left, and now explain to me, when you move on, Scott, I'd like you to pull over and stop in a safe place on the right-hand side of the road. All right, lovely jubbly, when you're ready, go for it. Okay, all-round observations, make sure I'm prepared, first gear. I'm going to put the whole technology on. God damn it, it's not working. All right, forget it. All-round observations, signals on to the right, make sure it's clear, gently raise the clutch, biting point, gently accelerate. Gently up all the way off the clutch, and I'm going to pull over and stop here before the blue car. So interior mirror, right mirror, no oncoming traffic. If there was oncoming traffic, I would stop here, let them pass. If there is space to pass, there isn't. But you see this gap here? This is why I stopped here, to show you I've just gone past this parked car. Now, once I've passed this, this is the point where I really want to start to move in. Not sharp angle like this, so start to adjust it early, move in early, have a nice smooth, long, I'm just holding the biting point, long, down on the clutch, gently on the brake, straightening up, straightening up, nice gap here from the pavement, securing the car, hold, neutral, so secure the car first, handbrake first and neutral, that is decent, that is what we want. Okay, reasonable distance. Now, <clears throat> now I'm going to reverse back. This reverse gear is, well, it's, yeah. Be serious, Scott. Give good advice. Okay, now up, down, up, down, up, down. Yeah, do a little bit of that. Okay. And then move it to the left and then down. Oh, mate, it's like being at the gym. Okay, now I'm going to check all the way around the vehicle to make sure it's safe. And you see this beautiful camera here. I already know that's my tyre. And look at that line. Perfect. Nice gap there. It's even getting a little bit smaller. But there's still a gap there that's staying the same the, the whole way throughout this. And at the end of those yellow lines is roughly two car lengths, which I need to reverse. So that's where I'm aiming for, which is just after this tree, about a car length after this tree, about a car length away from that next part vehicle. So I've got my destination set. Now I'm just going to check again because it's been a while. Prepare, clutch up slowly. Okay, the hold is on because it's not allowing me to go. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to tap the gas, which I didn't want to do. just want to do it for the clutch. So now I'm just using the clutch, checking again, slowly, 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 looking at my steering, checking again, slowly, 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 looking at my steering, looking at my camera, checking again, slowly, 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 past the tree, getting towards that car, and just checking, 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 slowly, 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 camera, 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 steering, 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 blind spot, blind spot, blind spot, done. First gear, drive on when you're ready. Blind spot right, least dangerous. Blind spot left, most dangerous. Now there's traffic, so I'm going to be a little bit professional. Not that I'm that professional, but I'm going to cancel the signal. So I don't startle the traffic. More likely they'll pass us quicker if I'm not signaling, because they'll be less worried of me moving away. All right, checking my most dangerous blind spot and least dangerous blind spot again and again. Not that I need to do it that much, but just being extra safe. Oh, manual car. Don't feel right. 
Okay, up on the clutch, on the gas. That feels like third gear. It's not, but it felt like it. And now we're gonna go do an emergency stop. So we're gonna take the next road on the left. Interior mirror, exterior mirror left, signal left. And I'm just gonna turn around here. And then I'm just checking the right side. I'm gonna find a nice little straight bit of the road here. And I'm gonna pull over and stop on the left. So find a convenient place to pull up and stop on the left. Mirror, mirror, signal, look at the lamppost. There'll be a nice bit of raised curb there. Good visibility here as well. So I'm just gonna stop here. Use reference points on the windowsill. If you have a reference point, use that. And then I'm just gonna secure the car by putting my hold on. If you have a handbrake, put that on. Wiggle, 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 bang, bang, bang. Neutral, neutral, neutral. Cancel signal, because that's annoying. Now they're gonna, uh, the examiner's gonna ask you to drive on. If it's safe to do so, I'll put my hand up. Hand up, stop. And then when you hear the word stop, I'd like to stop and do your emergency stop. All right, if you're happy with those directions, drive on when you're ready and be prepared to stop. Thank you very much, Mr. Examiner. And doing all round observations, signaling, even though there's no one around, it's always a good idea just to signal. I might get slapped for that because people say, well, you don't need to signal. Yeah, well, what if someone comes along? God damn it, I'm going to throttle someone. Okay, get ready and speed up. Second gear and the examiner's checked, it's safe and stop. Thank you very much. Drive on when you're ready. Oh dear Lord of Mother, stay there. Okay, now before we drive on, all round observations, make sure you're prepared first. This is the POM, so P first, first gear, because I might stop in second or third gear. Look all the way around. For any more imaginary kids, clutch up, bite point, move off. So the hard part is the observations. Now when we brake, I'll do it at the end of the road. Okay, there's no one behind me. I'll show you the brakes again. So what it is is brake clutch. So watch my foot. Brake clutch. Hold the pedals down. That's an emergency stop or what's called controlled stop. Then you check your gear. Okay. I'm going to go this way. Left. So check your gear, all round observations, and then if it's safe, we move off. That is an emergency stop or controlled stop. Don't forget to leave a like if you're getting value from the video and subscribe for future content. Right, at the end of the road, turn right. I am sweating in this car. Turn the air conditioning on then, you idiot. All right, I heard you, I heard you. I'm turning the air conditioning on. All right, relax, relax, relax. Okay, now at the end of the road, turn right. Mirrors and signals are done, and it's safe, right, left, right. Clutch up gently, make sure you're in first gear, not third gear, which is quite common. People think it's first, and that's quite common to miss shift into um, first gear by accident when you're trying to get third gear. That's super aggressive. It's like you push it in really hard so you get a warning. When you're pushing the lever, the gear lever, and it feels hard, that's warning you you got the wrong gear. And then when you raise the clutch, boom, it's like an emergency stop. So poof, that's dangerous. So when people say, oh, why is an automatic car safer? Well, because that will never happen. That's why it's safer. Next, at the end of the road, turn right. Interior mirror, right mirror, signal right. And then make sure it's safe, right, left, right, and drop. Clutch up gently, hold that biting point, add that gas, gas down, clutch up, and second gear. Following the signs to Heathrow, you say. Oh, we're back at the White Hart roundabout, A312S. Now remember, earlier we were here and we followed the sign to Rice Slip. Now, Rice Slip was marked by IR Slip. This Heathrow, you might be asked to follow the signs to Heathrow, that's why I said Heathrow, is marked by A312S. Now you'll see A312S in the right lane and A321S in the left lane. Right lane, left lane. But it's not the left lane, Scott, it's the middle lane. Yeah, what I mean is there's two lanes that are going to A312S. This one and that one. Now, looking ahead, can you see the white diagonal lines going through the yellow box junction. Okay, white diagonal lines going through the yellow box junction. What the hell is this guy talking about? That's your lane and it's very important. If you don't follow those lines, if you step over those white lines going through the yellow box, you will most likely fail your driving test for lane discipline as there's cars here 
and there's cars here which are in the other lanes. Clutch up, gas on, clutch up a little bit more, gas on a little bit more, and the car in front did not keep his lane. I have A312S, A312S, two separate lanes. I've maintained the left lane. I should most likely be signaling right all the way around this roundabout, okay, because I'm following the lane. It's not going to be one for lane change. It's going to be a signal for letting people know that I'm going to continue around the roundabout. Okay, now I'm signaling left because now I'm going to exit the roundabout and change gear, Scott. And change gear again, Scott. And change gear again. And change gear again. Do you need to do that? Stop, Scott. Take a deep breath. It's okay. It's just for one day. Just to help people on YouTube. That's all it is. And then you'll have your nice car back. And you'll be back in automatic heaven. Relax. All right, I'm zen. I'm zen again, guys. I'm all good. Okay, we're approaching the Willow Tree Roundabout. I'm in the correct lane, being the left lane, because that is the lane that we need uh, when we're following a dual carriageway. And this is what the examiners would call position for normal driving. Fifth gear, ah, I'm approaching the end. Can you see the countdown markers? And the examiner asked me to go to Yedding. Oh my God, I've not got a lot of time. All right, downshift, block change from fifth to third. Okay, up on the clutch, third gear's giving me engine braking, mirror signal, and I did a shoulder check. I'm in the right lane, mirror, mirror, signal right, so mirror signal position, speed, ooh, second gear, up on the clutch, and I'm going to stop, regardless, I would have gone there normally, okay, because I saw that blocker car, the one that was blocking that silver car from going, but I want to show you this traffic, so look at my feet now. So I'm on the brake, let's put the hold on. Yeah, that's on. Now this is the launch control, remember? Up on the clutch, hold it. Look at that gap, oh, look at his tires, it's coming to me. So I'm waiting, I almost did it. Now look at the tires, there's the gap. Gas, clutch, go. Bloody hell, what are you doing? Get out of my way, that's not your lane. Stay in your lane, Jesus. Right, now spiral, relax the steering. Turn, signal left, turn, signal left, turn, signal left. Let it go, let it go, let it go. And keep to the left, and keep to the left, and there you go, there's Willow Tree Roundabout. Who wants to go have another look at the Willow Tree Roundabout? I do! Not really, but I'm going to show you the Willow Tree Roundabout again. Okay, so turning right, we're going to go back to Willow Tree, back to White Hart Roundabout. When we get to White Hart Roundabout, that's the one after this Willow Tree, um, then you'll see another difficult one. This is a spiral. Quick turn in the road here, guys. Three-point turn, used to be on the test before, this is how you do it. So stop on the left, all-round observation signal, full lock right, reach your reference point to stop before you hit the pavement. And if you've got a low car like this car, make sure you know that reference point so you don't rip your front bumper off, which happened to a driving instructor in this car at another test centre, at, at Hendon Test Centre. Okay, back to first gear, all round observations again, full lock again. Every time you swap gears, you swap the steering, full lock. Okay, back to uh, reverse, so a little bit of jiggy jiggy with the stick there. Woo! A little bit of rolly rolly because of the manual. And back, 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 camera, camera, camera. Again, swap the gear again. Oh, what a hassle. Which one died? Who died? One of the cameras died, guys. We're gonna kill, we're gonna fix the camera. We're gonna fix the camera. Then we're going to go, okay, engine off for safety, who died, you didn't die, who died, you died, why did you die, why did you die, you died as well, why is everything dying, okay, quick battery change on the fly, Hopefully the other cameras don't die. Oh, 
Oh, memory card full. Okay. She's full, ladies and gentlemen. We're back. We're back. Okay. Let's go see the willow tree. Round observations. Willow tree, white heart. Home time. Woo! Okay, end of right turn right. Uh, sorry, turn left. Interior mirror, exterior mirror left. Signal left. Right, left, right. Make sure you're in first gear. Gently raise the clutch. Gently apply the gas. And this is where I practice 50 times with Giovanni launch control at the roundabout. Okay, we're going to go left. So nice and easy. Mirror, mirror, signal left. Left only lane and in the left lane. Ah, there's too many cars. It's scary. Oh, I'm going to get hit by a lorry. Okay, launch control. Hold on. That'd be your handbrake. Clutch up. Look at that. Got to really go for it. So that car had to really go for it when he had the opportunity to go. Look at the wheels. Make sure you're pointing where you want to go. So make sure your steering's point. Gas on. Clutch up. And go, 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 go. Okay, now we're going towards the White Heart Roundabout. So make sure that you have the correct speed as you approach this roundabout, as you're going to be asked to follow the sign towards Greenford. And it's quite difficult to read the sign and read the road markings if you're traveling towards the roundabout at a high speed. Now, what's the speed limit on this road? Have you seen any speed changes since we came from the roundabout? If you're anything like me, you may have missed a speed change, especially if you're in a junction where the speed change is more than likely going to be. So continue to look for speed signs, and if you're not sure what speed limit is, go by the last speed sign that you saw. So the last speed sign that I saw was 30 miles an hour. So the car's telling me, because there's technology on the car, that it's a 30 mile an hour road. I do believe it's 40, um, because I've seen the speed limit on the other side is 40, but there's no signs here. If there are any, they're hidden by all the foliage here. So maybe the council could come and clear the foliage so we can read and follow the signs clearer and improve road safety. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna be turning right towards Greenford. It's the fourth exit. Can you see that? I can't, fourth exit, because I know it, I know it's the fourth exit. It's marked out with G Ford in the road. I need to change one lane to the right, mirrors, mirrors and blind spot checks. Look for G Ford. Can you see G Ford for Green Ford? That is where we are going, which is the fourth exit over there, turning right, okay? So this is a challenge, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to look for the road markings to make sure we're using the correct lane throughout the whole roundabout. This roundabout is controlled by traffic lights. So make sure that you pay attention to the traffic lights as well. Okay, so now G Ford. Where's G Ford? I see it in the right lane. Yep, there it is. Exit one gone. Spiral roundabout. It's guiding me out into the middle lane. So I cancel the signal. Following the lane into the middle, traffic light's still green, past the second exit, there's the third exit for central London, where's G Ford, ah oh, it's that lane over, mirror signal, I check my shoulder just to be extra safe, now if I couldn't get into this left lane, it's okay to use this right lane which I was in, and that would be the right lane on the exit, making sure I'm still in first gear, clutch up, gas on, gas off, clutch down, second gear, clutch up, gas on, gas off, third gear, gas on again, not into fourth gear because we've got a 20 mile an hour zone. What is going on here? Okay, I was worried that pedestrian was going to run towards the car, so I was ready to stop in case of an emergency. Looking at the body language of the pedestrians as much as possible so that you can try and predict what they're doing. Why is everyone running out in the blood? What the hell? What the hell? What the is going on? Literally, they've stopped the whole, they ran in front of the cars and everything. Uh, okay. Anyways, refocus. If something like this happens, just put it behind you and, and focus on what's in front. This is more important. Okay, she's reached the center island. So that means that it's okay for me to go because she's finished crossing, that pedestrian's finished crossing my portion, my half of the zebra crossing. We have another zebra crossing here. Okay, 20 miles an hour, 20 miles an hour. 
Usually I use cruise control to keep me at the speed limit. I'm not using cruise control because you're not allowed to use cruise control on the test because it takes control of the vehicle. Okay, any assistance that moves or takes control of this vehicle, as far as I'm aware, is not allowed on the driving test. So cruise control would be one of them. Okay, so I'm just maintaining 20 the best I can and keeping the left lane. Even though there's a bus there, I think he's going to move off by the time that traffic light changes. So I'm going to keep this left lane. They do have their own designated bus stop there, but his bum's hanging out in the road. So I'm going to have to go around the back side of that bus if it doesn't move off in time. But before I even got here, I saw how many passengers there was. Now he's finished picking up the passengers. Really, by the time this light changes, yeah, he's gone. So you see with experience, um, these type of situations become easier to predict. So I hope that helps. That's what I, That's what's going through my brain when I'm driving. So the more experience you get, the more likely stuff like this, you'll see it before, you know what's happening. If you know the road, there's two lanes merging to one. So I'm just checking my mirrors, making sure it's clear, and then moving over into this right lane. Now looking ahead, is there any bus stops? No. So the bus will most likely keep going. So what's the correct lane for me to use, providing it's safe to do so? Left. Unless road markings or signs state otherwise, follow the road ahead. Keep to your position, be in the left side, which is regarded as normal driving position. Okay, all my cameras are dying, guys. So we'll probably be left with, hopefully, just this one on my head and the forwards camera. We're almost back at the driving test center. Uh, we've got one more roundabout to go, which is the ESO roundabout. That's very close to the actual driving test center itself. I'm gonna turn right, third exit, and then I'm gonna take you back towards the driving test center using the side roads. Now these side roads, it'd be one of the last left turns I do, just after the roundabout, in fact, I'll do the left turn. Um, this will be a very narrow entry point, and it's really important that you know about this road because if you don't and you start to turn in there in second gear, as an example, then it'll be too high a speed in the event that there is a vehicle coming out of that road because it's super narrow. We need a super slow speed, first gear, making sure that we can see clearly into that road before we make the decision to drive into it. So when we get to that road, I will show you. I'm not going to be cheeky and do what the white car did because he wants to turn right at the roundabout. He's gone round the bus. He's using the wrong road markings to continue. Can you see that arrow there? It's a left only for the oncoming traffic. Or sorry, right only. Now I'm past that, checking the mirrors, overtaking the bus, which is stopped at the bus stop, checking the left mirrors, moving back in. Now I'm at the roundabout, turning right, mirror, mirror, signal, look, this is unorthodox. That means the left lane is left only, so if you're going straight, second exit back to the round, uh, back to the test center, you can go that way as well. You would still use the right lane and go straight. Now I'm going third exit, so I'm passing the second, allowing the steering to straighten, slowly steering left, keeping to the left side as I exit, and the engine's screaming at me, change gear. Um, yes, so once you've got control of the vehicle and you feel it's more appropriate and a safer time to change gear, do that. So that's advice I'd give to learners 20, 20, 20. 20, 20, 20. Right, see the shops here? Lots of pedestrian crossings here. Lots of pedestrians that may not use the crossings and just walk out in the road like we had earlier. People running out in front of the cars, running towards me, directly towards me. So just be vigilant of mad people in South Hall. Welcome to South Hall, everybody. Okay, mirror, mirror, signal left. Okay, now this is it. First gear. Break, break, break. Clutch down, first gear, keep the clutch down. Look how narrow it is. Gently checking the left mirror for any bicycles. Look how slow I'm going, taking care of that car and this curb. If I was in second gear, I would have probably gone a lot quicker. Watch that motorbike there, he's being really cheeky, he turned into the oncoming lane. So I'm just watching he's not overtaking. Okay, um, yeah, if I was any faster, then it would have been very difficult that turn. So I would suggest slow down. Brake, 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 clutch down, keep the clutch down, brake, 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 stop if you need to, first gear if not, 
then move off, clutch back up and move off. Mirror, mirror, signal right, I'm taking the next road on right. Maintain one meter from that parked car until you reach your point of turn, then turn, that way you'll be in a safe position if there is a vehicle coming out of this road. So this is like the right turn, uh, similar to that left turn I just did. Very narrow, parked cars on both sides, Make sure you keep your correct positioning. If there are cars entering or exiting the roads, then you need to keep your correct position to allow space for those vehicles. It will also allow you more visibility, like I just said, when you turn into the road. So you'll be in the correct position to see the vehicles, then slowly stop and allow them out because there won't be enough room for us to go back in. Now, the road we're looking for is Sunnycroft. And it looks like it's actually getting a little bit sunny as it has been a bit rainy all day. Okay, so that's Rosecroft. Sunnycroft is the next one. Um, and then we're going to turn left. Then we're back at driving test center. Mirror, mirror, signal left. Ah, window wipers. Okay, and then check again for any traffic before or motorbikes, bicycles before changing direction. And here we are, Sunnycroft, back at Southall Driving Test Center. So guys, I hope this video has given you plenty of advice to help you pass your driving test first time. If it has, then please don't forget to like and subscribe for future content. I've been Scott, this is Today Pass. Stay safe, stay tuned. And I'm on the wrong road. <laughs> this isn't Sunnycroft. See you next time.